Some people may wonder, why do you go to a place like New Life Church? I mean, what's the purpose of it? Are you looking for dialogue with people? And if so, why don't you just have a private meeting during the week? And I think part of what we're doing with stepping up and telling our stories is we definitely want to have dialogue. We want people to hear stories that they don't often hear. But we know that a lot of people don't feel they have the need to talk to us. Our stories are not important enough to certain people. And maybe if they are, we might have a meeting on a Tuesday morning in some office and no one in the church knows about that meeting. Maybe not even other staff members know about it. But it's not even just for dialogue though. An important part of it is for public awareness. There are people right now contemplating, should I go into an XK program? Should my child go to an XK program? And, and there's a lot of misinformation going on about that. So, so what happens is when we do something like this, go to New Life Church, and it becomes a little bit of a spectacle, even though we didn't intend it to, to be one, people come out and they're like, well, what's going on? What's happening here? And discussions start among the everyday person there and the staff members. And what was amazing today, what happened was we were able to talk in a very public place about our stories with a promise of, yeah, we want to get together with you. We want to talk further with you. But I think about Jesus, because I'm a Christian, and I think about how Jesus dealt with authority, particularly people in power. And he knew that they, you know, there was nothing invested in them to, to talk to the little guy, the guy who didn't have the power. And so when Jesus de dealt with authority, he often did it in a very public way, and in, in, in a fairly th theatrical way. I think about how Jesus went in and turned over the money table, the, the money changers' tables. It was actually a really violent act, and much more violent than anything I would ever do. And I guess he could have seen about setting up a meeting with one of the head money changers and said, you know, we need to talk and really feeling uncomfortable about this whole money changing thing of the whole house of the Lord. Uh, but he had a lot of messages to say to a lot of different people. And so he went in there and he turned some tables. And I'm sure a lot of people criticized and said that Jesus, he's a radical and he's dangerous and he's too much of an activist. But you know, it's about getting a message out. And today we went to New Life Church as a witness and as a warning and with the hope that there are people there who care about people, who want to see what is the best thing we can do for people with same-sex attractions, for people with children with same-sex attractions. And perhaps it was a discussion that people had today at their dinner table that they normally wouldn't have had. And perhaps it's a discussion that will come up later this week in a staff meeting that normally wouldn't have happened. And I really feel grateful for that. And I feel grateful that they graciously received our stories and there was no altercation. It was people coming together saying, yeah, I understand where you're coming from and, and let's, let's carry on this discussion.